Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just hanging out at the waterfront today and going over today's science file. How do rivers form? Try this. You will need a plastic bottle full of water. Okay, start by building yourself a mound out of dirt. Okay, now you gotta get yourself a plastic bottle. Why I got one? Right here! My jacket's always full of cool things! Yes! Okay, now you gotta fill the container with water. Hmm. I know. What? Who stepped on my mound? Ah! Oh, I think I left my water bottle. <laughs> over my mound. Okay, take your bottle of water and you're gonna pour it over the top of your hill. Woohoo! Whoa! It formed a river! Is that cool or what? Now, how is this like how rivers form? Well, take a closer look at this. Rivers are any body of fresh water flowing from an upland source to a large lake or to the sea, fed by such sources as springs and streams. The main parts of a river include a channel in which the water flows and a floodplain, a flat region on either side of the channel. When rain falls on hillsides or when snow melts, like the snow on top of mountains, the water runs downhill and accumulates in streams. A river starts on hillsides as small channels or rills. The rills combine to make large channels that eventually come together, forming distinct streams. A stream eventually joins the main river channel. During the journey through rills and streams, the water's flow may erode and deposit sediment in the river's channel and on the floodplains. A river carries the most sediment when the flow is highest. So now you know how rivers form. You know, making your own river right at home is why science is so cool.